Linda Sessions here and welcome to week four of computer applications. So last week you started in Word chapter one and you learned the basics of Word, how to get around in the ribbon, how the that control panel worked, and you worked on uh, three different projects, one through SAM, which was automatically graded, then you had the critical thinking worldwide communication flyer, followed by the table rock flyer. Now remember, especially when you submit that table rock flyer, that border that you put on the page is not going to appear. I download the file when I grade, so you don't have to, don't worry about that. Okay, the preview pane in Blackboard will not show your exact document. So remember, I download it when I grade. Now I won't be grading these assignments until later on, um, first part of the week probably. So look for your grades around Thursday and Friday, probably before then, but give me a little bit to get everything graded. This week, we continue in Word Chapter 2, looking at how you can create a research paper. You will not have to write a research paper. You will be modifying a paper that has already been written. So don't worry about that. The biggest piece of advice I can give you for completing this assignment. One, do the training first. It's going to help give you some information and some tips in what you need to be doing. Two, make, your sh make sure you are using a PC computer to complete this assignment. Don't try to do it on a Chromebook, on your iPhone, or a Mac computer. I can't stress that enough. Some of the skills that you're going to be doing and asked to do going forward in this class are not available in Microsoft Word for Macs. And it's not available for you to be able to do on a Chromebook. So if you have a Mac or a Chromebook, you must use the WSU Tech remote desktop to log in and use Microsoft Office to complete the assignments. You need to use the desktop version of Office 365. Again, if you're not sure if your computer is set up with the right program, call our IT department at 677-9906. They can help make sure your computer is set up with the latest version of Microsoft Office. It's free. It's not going to cost you anything except your time to call. And I can guarantee you it will save you time later on if you're using the correct program. I have already received messages from students saying, my computer doesn't have this skill, so I'm not going to do it. You're going to get cut off if you don't do the skills. Get marked off. Sorry, not cut off. Marked off if you don't do the skills. So you need to make sure you're using the correct program for this class. As always, reach out if you have questions, but our IT department is very helpful in making sure that your information in your computer is set up to correctly complete the assignments at WSU Tech. Now, that being said, Module 4, Research Paper. So you're going to be doing that streaming video uh, through SAM and Cengage. Pay attention to details. If you forget to put a period in the footnote, it's going to count you wrong. If you don't um, spell a word correctly, it's going to count you wrong you're going to be modifying a footnote. And so when you modify the footnote, you're going to be modifying the style. So pay attention to the details as you're working on this assignment. Now, once you complete the streaming video services assignment, you will be able to submit it and you will see right away what your grade is. Again, you have access to that graded report like you had last week, as well as a study skill. So you can go in and look, how was I supposed to do that? Also, at your fingertip is Google. If you're not sure how to do something, do a Google search for it or look in your e-text. It's all there. I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about the uh, combat cybercrime assignment. So I've already downloaded um, the assignment instructions and the um, there you go. and the starter file. So again, this is one where I'm going to be going in and grading it so you won't get an automatic grade. Please give me seven days past due date to get stuff graded. So here 
you're going to be taking a document and you're going to be changing it to a three column newsletter. It should be only one page in length when you're finished. Okay. Um, this is not a border around your document. This is just the edge of the document. You can see I've got a line up here. Uh, your title might look a little different than mine because there's different styles and you get to choose from it. Um, over here, make sure that your bullet points are moved over to the edge of the page. And you can't see it on here, but in between your name and the date, there should only be one tab mark, one tab. And then down at the ends of these columns, you're going to have column breaks. Let me show you how you can see those. So I'm going to open up my document. This is my starter file. You can see you start out with two pages. So for my title, I just want to make it a title. So I can choose any of these styles up here. Okay, doesn't matter which one. I'm just going to use this title. And then I'm going to center it. I think come back to the instructions so I tell you right. Um, save it first. We're going to create a title using a preset heading style and um, and center it. So that's what I did. I just used the title style and then I centered it. Now we want to make a subtitle. So we don't have one in here yet. So I need to hit the enter key to make my subtitle line. I'm going to use the subtitle style right here and I'm going to enter my name. The next thing it wants you to do is put in a tab. Now, when you hit your tab key on your keyboard, it only moves your cursor over five spaces. That's it. When I come up here and turn on the show hide button, you can see I've hit it five times. I only want to see one of these in your document. You will get counted off if I see more than one. So I'm going to backspace and get rid of those. And I'm going to set a tab. So up here in my paragraph grouping, I'm going to click on this dialog box launcher right here. I'm going to scroll down to tabs. And I want to put a tab clear at my right margin. So that's at 7.5. So right up here, I've got my ruler turned on. If you don't see your ruler, go to the view tab and toggle your ruler on and off. Then I'm going to set a right tab because I want my text to go from the right of my tab. Hit set. OK. Now, when I hit the tab, it's going to go all the way over. I can type the date. And now I'm ready to select that line. I'm going to shade that paragraph. Then I'm going to put a top border on it and a bottom border. And now I'm ready to go to the next step. So you can see I only have one tab. Now when I turn the show hide marks off, you don't see it. You don't know that. However, when I go in and grade yours, I go in and that's one thing I look for. Do you have one tab or ten tabs? Or do you hit the space bar? Um, if you have anything other than that one tab between your name and the date, you will get points counted off. So from here, just follow the instructions to complete your, your document. Again, it's going to end up looking like this. There is a video on YouTube where I cover all of it. If you have any questions as you're working on it or in any of the assignments this week, reach out and let me know. Now, this week you've got your 10 minutes of time typing. You have your training, and I strongly recommend you do the training before you do anything else. This week you have the... SAM project and you have the combat cybercrime. These are all due by September 18th. And remember, I don't accept late work without prior approval. So make sure you start working on these assignments early in the week. As always, reach out if you have questions. I'm Linda Sessions, your instructor, and I hope everything is going great in your world today. Bye-bye.